hello everyone uh, so today's video will be about hp 3 so if you uh, so if you like this video please give a like and also subscribe to the youtube channel also so this will help me a lot to further continue the videos and the series of cyber security and ethical hacking so uh, what is hp 3 actually hp 3 is a pre-installed tool in a kali linux and not in kali linux it is available in all the penetration testing distribution so basically hp 3 is a is an extremely powerful tool uh, which is used for many types of uh, flooding attacks like SOI and SYN flooding, ICMP flooding and land attack. So basically what is flooding? Flooding in a common term you can say it is a kind of DOS attack. So uh, it, so previously I had also made a video about DOS attack. DOS attack is denial of service attack in which uh, the hacker either try to bring down our entire network system or 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 they try to bring or they try to uh, block some websites by sending unlimited requests or ping uh, by which the website is not capable of suppose you are, uh, suppose if the website is capable of only handling 100 requests and if the attack and if the hacker or the attacker send 1000 requests so obviously this website will get overloaded and it will not work and the website will ultimately crash down so so this happens in DOS attack uh, uh, so HP 3 performs this type of things in in the real life and HP 3 is a very powerful tool also for good uh, so HP 3 is used for good and bad purposes also uh, for good purposes um, our penetration tester we uh, or a licensed penetration tester which have license or which have authorization they can test the network stability and security for uh, for for the network of any company and for the hackers view HP 3 HP 3 can be used to bring down the whole network and bring down the or to bring down the whole website of a, a website of the server for a uh, for a company or for any organization which is very much costly actually if the company actually if the company runs a website and all the all the important all the important stuffs are performed by this by that website and if the head and if the hacker brings down the entire network of the website so obviously they will cost uh, so that will cost a company a lot a lot will suffer a huge loss so hping uh, so hping 3 simple put as a tcp ip packet generator and analyzer Actually, it is used. It is most commonly used for generating packets for uh, for TCP/IP, which is transmission control protocol and internet protocol. They they generate packets for that only. So HP3 is commonly used uh, uh, for DOS attack or uh, for DOS attack. Just like generating the packets, and after generating the packets, we will uh, we will throw the packets to some network or or some or to any kind of website or etc where the network where, where there is uh, not much as network stability where, the, where there is a uh, where the network security is not much as high as any other so if we if we do any type of DOS attack to that type of network so that type of network will ultimately crash down or the whole, sy whole network system will get crashed so HP3 is available in all types of penetration distribution not only Kali it is available in Parrot, Black Arch etc so if you do HP3, HP3 is pre-installed on so if you do HP3 hyphen hyphen help, so you you can see uh, all types of uh, commands which are available for uh, uh, for to uh, to do attacks. Like you can check the version to uh, to check the version. You can also check hyphen C used to count packet how many packets you want to send, and you can also mention the interval. Uh, if you want to send uh, hundred packets uh, after uh, at a what out. Two second or three second interval. You can do like this. You can you can also combine these commands with the interval to uh, to make a flooding very faster, etc. And there are lots of things you can you can all uh, hyphen capital V is used for verbose. And you know what is verbose? Verbose uh, verbose prints extra result which are available in the uh, in the output of the of any type of tool of or any type of printing result. And there are some mode where these are very much important. So the default mode of the HP3 is always TCP. So if you want to send in raw IP or say uh, if you want to uh, make a jam to the T ICMP connection, you can uh, you can mention hyphen one as IM uh, ICMP. You can mention hyphen two as UDP, hyphen eight as CAN, etc. So you can also do you can also do you can also do a spoof attack with the HP3, uh, just like ERP spoof or DNS spoof. It's your choice, and there are lots of options. So these are the these are the basics overview of the HP3 and and the users of the HP3 and what and how can you use this to attack some web server or to create a DOS attack.
so in the coming video i will show you how can you do scene flooding icmp flooding land attack using hp 3 so i hope you will like this video so thank you for watching the video